AnyDrop 2 is an awesome jailbreak app that allows you to share files via AirDrop. I mean, you can share any type of file on the default native file structure within iOS. That is what AnyDrop 2 allows you to do. So basically it's like you're browsing iFile and then you can share any files between devices using AirDrop. So you can access any of the files you have in your in your native file structure in iOS and share those files easily just with a single tap and then your AirDrop information pops up and then you just share just like you would a photo or a link in Safari or anything else. And the best thing about this is there's zero configuration. You can just start sharing right out of the box. No need to set anything up. No need to, to you know configure Bluetooth or anything silly like that. It just works straight out of the box like normal airdrop. So I'm gonna to try to share one of these files here. Now, anytime you see a little airplane next to a file, that means it's a file that can be shared. Uh, most of the ones that don't have the airplane are just folders. Um, so you just tap that and the little airdrop menu comes up. You'll see any devices you have around you. For instance, there's my iPod Touch. And all you do is you just tap on that person in the little airdrop folder like you would normally do when sharing a photo or something or something. Um, so I'm tapping Jeff right there and here's my iPod touch. It receives the request. There's the beta for quick weather, accept it. And it opens up iFile just like that, ready to install quick weather just like that, ladies and gentlemen. So you see why this is so impressive. Any drop allows you to quickly share any file, no configuration needed. Um, you can send files from applications that support open in. You can even share media. So it, it goes beyond just normal files, but you can actually go into your iTunes library, share media that has been downloaded to your local device. Now the little, um, configuration button at the bottom allows you to send out a tweet or Facebook status update saying, Hey, I use any drop. You should too. And it's got some nice animation in that little menu there. I do like that. It's a nice touch. Uh, a little different than most jailbreak tweaks when it comes to the ancillary information that they all need to provide. Now here is something really cool. This is the media share. It's interesting interface, isn't it? It's got a little triangle. You just browse your, um, your list of albums or your, your iTunes library or your music app library, I should say. And then you can share items from that library. So easy. Um, but you will have to have them downloaded. For instance, if you're using iTunes match, you need to make sure that the files are downloaded before you can share them. I have made sure I downloaded this file. It will export it successfully. And once you export a file, you can actually send it via airdrop just like this. So it should recognize or it should find my iPod touch. There we go. Just tap on it, waiting, sending, Here's my iPod Touch. Jeff would like to share with you. It's receiving the file. And if you have any drop on the on, you know on the receiving device, you can open in any drop and view your files there. So that's what I'm going to do. I have any drop on my iPod Touch. Let me just cancel that. And if I go to my files and I hit the little button there in the upper right hand corner, you can see the receive files just like that. And you can tap it and further manipulate or use whatever file you receive. So that is any drop uh, in a nutshell, but there's, there's one other little feature I want to show you guys And the developer was asking me to make sure you remember to do this. So there's a secret hidden feature contained within any drop that's accessible when you shake your device like this, this is the secret feature YouTube drop. So if you shake your device while in the file list, you can set up YouTube downloading and sharing right there from any drop. So it's called YouTube drop. You tap set up. It'll take you to Freeman repos website here. It has some instructions. You bookmark this page first of all. So that's what we're going to do first. So you need to bookmark the page that it takes you to using a little bookmark bu button at the bottom of the Safari interface. So just hit the bookmark button, select bookmarks, and then you just want to add this bookmark, just save it. And then after that, we're going to edit the bookmark to uh, erase everything before the JavaScript uh, section of the URL. So I've saved it. You want to go back to bookmarks and then you want to tap on the uh, edit button in the bottom right hand corner. I almost forgot what I was going to do. Tap the edit button in the bottom right hand corner and then select all your text. Make sure you delete all the text before JavaScript. So just make sure you delete all the text before JavaScript, save it, save your changes, and then go ahead and browse over to YouTube. I'm going to load up my video here and then go to your bookmark and select YouTube drop. Look at it. 
ready to download just like that. That's crazy, isn't it? So that is a pretty big secret to, to have there. And again, you can access YouTube Drop by shaking your device on the file list. Um, and that will allow you to download YouTube videos and share those and save them directly to your local device. So not only do you get native file structure sharing, not only do you get media sharing like videos and uh, songs and things like that, but you also get YouTube sharing as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it is called Any Drop 2, and I highly recommend you head over to Cydia's Big Boss Repo, download Any Drop 2, check it out, share your files via AirDrop, no configuration needed, and also don't forget to check out YouTube Drop, which allows you to do things like this, save YouTube videos and watch them later, share them with your friends. So ladies and gents, you can find any drop two on City as Big Boss Repo for $1.99. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.